So welcome back guys, <clears throat> today we are in for another episode of 5 moves that you should use with Fangwei. I first thought that we wouldn't even get to a second episode but I actually got a third one in production. Which is kind of sick because I thought Fang had a huge arsenal of things that you could use but the more I look it up the more I find out there are a lot of moves that are actually very very situational. Um, which I knew before, but I didn't know they were that situational. <clears throat> I want to thank the people that already followed me on Patreon. Even though I didn't upload there anything till now. I will now, but really thank you. Helps a lot. Uh, the first move we're gonna go over is up for 3 plus 4, 3. Which is very sad because this move looks cool as fuck. Uh, it's a very very reliable high crush, even a mid crush to some extent, and the first hit is actually a launch. Which sounds great, right? But the problem is that the extension of the first move is a high and can be launched. Um, and even though I want to show you, if you press into that you actually get, I think, a free shoulder? I'm not entirely sure, but I think you get a free shoulder. Um, the problem with this is that, first and foremost, the move has no tracking whatsoever. So, um, if the opponent reads it, you're dead. Because the animation is very, very slow. He has all the time to, like, go here and grab you. So, it's very, very slow. Its only purpose is really to high crush. And if you want to high crush and get big damage, um, down to is most likely the better option. The problem is that with Fengwei, you overall have a big problem to get people into the air. Um, because not even his backswing blow or nor his counter hit strings will lead to counter hit launches, which is very unfortunate for the character. Um, which means that sometimes when you want to have your wall game, you throw out shit like this. The problem is that not even is the first hit duckable, uh, the, the extension, sorry. The first hit is actually minus 16, which most people don't know. So if they duck it and they do a wild standing punish, they could cover both options, but if they read it, you just straight up get launched yourself. And the launch you will do does very, very little damage and gives you a very, very li limited combo with no tracking whatsoever. So overall, if you don't really, really need that damage right now and you're 100% sure he's gonna jab, it's better to duck and see if they jab and do wild setting free instead of doing this. The next one we're gonna talk about is back free free. Very, very strange move. Uh, first and foremost, I want to add one thing. Uh, after the extension from this is blocked, you can actually Sabaki parry. Which maybe is useful, but maybe it's not. And it wall splats. That's maybe the only use where it's kind of good, right? If the opponent does duck it, then it wall splats. Sorry. But now we had back free free. Back free free is kind of a up for two, but um, the second hit is uh, does more. Uh, like if the second hit connects, it does more damage. And on counter hit, the second hit is actually a launcher, uh, which is um, yeah. I don't want to say great, but. It's decent, right? I don't know how to say... Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, and the good thing is it gives you a uh, launch at the angle where the guaranteed down free, uh, down back free setup is very, very easy to accomplish with the stomp at the end of the combo. The problem is, first and foremost, the move itself is um, pretty straight. Like, how, how should I call it? Like, I told you to not use... Um, up for two as often because on with it's pretty much dead right so for this move it's even easier so i don't really have to backdash here i'm doing a wrong backdash with on replacing back back and the recovery is not as bad but um it's still not worth it and then when you try to cover it up with back free free, as most people know the second hit is a high and can be launched and because there is no mix up um, yeah, that means that most of the times you're gonna get launched. Uh, the second hit is safe though. So don't fool yourself in rank this will work. But that doesn't mean it's good. It's rather slow. Uh, the second hit won't occur only if the opponent is a stupid piece of trash. Which most people are in rank, so be happy about that. But don't overuse it. The only real thing where I can 
kind of see the point of using it is when you're at the wall and you want to get out so you do one step into back free that's okay-ish but i prefer if i want to do that to do one step into up back to uh, up for two um the next one i want to cover is one plus four i had so many argues about this move just because it tracks like people always tell me yeah but this is a this is homing homing like the main man said listen up you already have a low that tracks really really well and you have a low that tracks to the complete other side this is not homing uh down back free but it tracks very decently um and this is minus 15 and i already told you please don't abuse this every day because you're gonna get launched today i saw a deathmatch uh because i sometimes watch all times and he played the feng wave player who did this like every three seconds and he won the first two games was on promotion but then all times actually destroyed him because if you rely on opening up offense with a low that it's launch punishable then on the long run this won't pay out but this is only minus 15 if you rely on this low to pressure someone this staggers and on counter hit it does nothing straight up nothing so what you're looking at here is potentially plus six but um also potentially 80 <laughs> i cannot delay hop kick ah! okay potentially 80 damage from your opponent if he's not stupid uh the range is okay-ish it's not too special but not too shabby um the tracking is really why people try to oversell me this move but really if you want to do this do this uh, minus 15 means you're gonna eat 60 to 70 but this really means you're gonna eat 90 if you're unlucky and this has more range and even at the wall uh, at the wall i rather use this cancel to be honest <laughs> but that's just me uh the next one we are gonna talk about is a move that i never understood up back two is a mid high which we will take a look so it has no track right no tracking whatsoever it has really if i backdash once if i'm quick enough it doesn't have any range virtually any range it's minus 10 even though it pushes back which means that it's practically safe and now you think like yeah it's safe man it doesn't need tracking or range but the second hit is a high and it doesn't jail and it's one input you cannot only do the first hit you're always doing two hits and it's not like it okay it's plus nine which is great right but then this has approximately the same speed it's one frame slower on counter hit it gives more reward and here you're you're like the problem okay if this would wall splat on counter hit i would get it or knock down or, or even launch do anything it doesn't do anything and you cannot do only the first hit this move has no purpose if someone can show me the purpose of this move he he will be a free sub until i die uh, a free mod until i die in my stream when i start streaming i swear this move is like utter trash i when i play fang i actually use this to sidestep punish people because um see sides the punishing was so shit but then i realized i could just as well do this or this so i stopped doing that and yeah i just realized this move is shit and i will never use it again never went back to it in regret and now we come to an, the last one and the last one is also very very tricky there are people who are gonna defend this move until they die and this is three three four so it's a high high low string which sounds shitty the low is never gar guaranteed and uh, only if the second if the second it wait a second um no first i will try to set up and show you the tracking right sorry i'm a little bit sluggish here to be honest so the move is a high high but it has actually decent range and i sometimes use it but it has no tracking what what <laughs> wait a second 
What am I doing? I swear it has no tracking. If this tracks all of a sudden, I will be pissed. Because then the move is super good and I never used it. It tracks! It tracks to one side. Okay, it's still shit. But forget. It tra this hit tracks, uh, it's okay, but it's still shit. And people try will try to sell you that you can cancel the last hit. And then most people on block do the sweep. Okay, I don't know where to start. So first and foremost, if they're already ducking, this is nothing, right? Um, the low comes before the cancel turns in, so it's very easy to step block, um, if that makes sense. I'm kind of losing track here. Um, what I mean by that is the delay works if you try to delay the last hit like this. If you try to delay the last hit, uh, the cancel actually covers approximately the same frame rate. The problem is if someone is stepping this, he still gets clipped. So there is nothing else he can do except of ducking. And then the trick is that people will sell you, okay, if I delay this, people will stand still. But the problem is if he does a while standing launch immediately afterwards, he beats all the options. Literally all the options. Uh, if, if I'm not stupid. Oh my god, I'm stupid! The move is utterly good. It's good. I suck. No, seriously. The risk reward is not in your favor here. If they're already ducking, you're gonna get fucked up. The only thing that is actually decent is the range of the first two hits. And the uh, second one is actually hit confirmable. So if you, can, uh, if you hit the first one, uh, you can connect the second one for decent damage. And it is used in combos. But in the neutral, there's only one use that I can really recommend this move to you. And that is, if you, that's kind of hard to do, but I actually do it a lot. If you hit someone with a deep sidestep, the strings that are guaranteed are this one for 38. And you can also use this one for 42. Uh, some people like to use something like this. There are a lot of options now. But actually, if you get a deep sidestep, doing this is completely free. And... After that, they can block this. You can get free damage if uh, you can do something like the sweep to hit them grounded. Or the best thing is down four if they move. But if you just do the three and they get up, you're plus eight. And if you're lucky enough, you hit them back turn for a free grab or a free shoulder. So that's the only reason why I use this move. The funny thing is, I actually now learned a lot of stuff that I didn't know about the string. That the second hit actually tracks. That makes it kind of better because the second one is rarely ever ducked. But really, play, please only use the first two hits. How I set it up against good opponents. I used the first two a lot actually. Not a lot, but decently enough to set this up. And there's one trick I can tell you. Most people tell me, but how do you do this from a side step or a sidewalk when they are side step 3 plus uh, 1 plus 2? This one. Uh, when you hit sidestep 3 plus 4, always it comes out the sidestep and neutral 3. It's the same with Lily. And so you can do this without any trouble. Um, and if you hit someone from the side, this actually hurts a ton. And I really like doing this. That's not all guaranteed, by the way. Uh, so I actually learned a lot about the string. Still don't use it. I think this was the last one. I will debunk some of the myths. Uh, like when you can actually pressure someone with the back turn sweep and when you actually cannot even on hit and some other stuff so stay tuned for that and once again thanks uh the patreons for supporting me um and one last thing please when you press back one plus two scream there to sound very manly so see you in the next one goodbye